get into this Elle Woods moment with this suit. Um, welcome back to my channel guys if you're not already subscribed make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video today i'm going to be talking about vault rim viva um this actually came as a suggestion from someone in the comments that's why i always say what do i say make sure you leave comments down below on things that you want to see here um, in your career field. It doesn't have to only be life science, pharma, regulatory, public health. It can be anything. It doesn't matter what space it's in. I will always do my due diligence to advise people from all different career backgrounds. So Viva Rim is a tool that a lot of pharmaceutical and life science companies are using. And honestly, the definition that Viva Rim has on their website is just a little more convoluted, but I'm going to read it to you guys and then I'm going to explain essentially what that means. The Vault Rim Suite streamlines global regulatory processes on a single cloud-based platform, enabling life science companies to improve visibility, data quality, and agility. Now that's not wrong, and within the Vault Rim suite, there's Vault Platform, Vault Quality Docs Tool, Vault Regulations, and Vault Submissions. Essentially what that means is just as a document management system. All the documents within a life science company are just going to be housed in that cloud-based service. When I was working in submissions, um, we used to have so many different tools like Liquid Insight, Rosetta Phoenix. Oh my gosh, I literally can barely remember, but there were a lot of different tools. I also worked with a tool called GDRMS, which was like Global Document Regulatory System. We had so many different applications. At smaller companies, when we were reviewing documents, the quality control and version control was so bad because we were working with like Google Docs. And I think when you're working with like massive regulatory documents, like a protocol or a briefing book, it's really hard to control the versions in Google Drive, especially if someone's checking it out and not checking it back in and somebody else is making edits somewhere else. What Vault has done has just brought all those different platforms from like the housing documents, SOPs, uh, building the ECTD backbone, all these different tools that are using life science companies into one application. I love Viva Vrim. I think it's really easy to use and I think if you're a tech savvy person, you can definitely get into submissions management or um, publishing because you'll work with those tools all day. But also as a regulatory professional, I'm talking about my associates, my associate directors, my managers, my senior managers, everyone from entry level to senior management has to use Viva Rim within, within most life science companies. So the way it works from a user perspective is let's say medical writing has a briefing document that they want to circle out for authoring for other people to review. They're going to send it to everybody. And that's going to initiate this authoring workflow. They're allowed to, whoever is the owner of the document is allowed to cancel the workflow, is allowed to, you know, extend the deadline, is allowed to add people, remove people. And once those people, let's say I'm one of the reviewers, I go in there and I see all the other 20 people in there as well. Everyone is allowed to be in the document at the same time to ensure version control. And the document owner can go back and save that document to Vault to make sure changes are getting made, a version is getting saved. You might be wondering, like, how do you track the versioning if somebody else just like downloads it and like make changes? If you download the document and make changes, it doesn't matter because it's not going to reflect in the system. It's just an amazing tool to ensure version control and quality documents um, are streamlined. And you can also go back and look at different versions and so on and so forth. Once the document's done being drafted, the owner will send it for a pre-publishing workflow. Publishing will then format the document, make sure everything is good to go. Publishing is a whole other world. And I'm going to make a video on the different jobs you can get in publishing or who would be best to pursue publishing or how to get in publishing in general. So after the pre-publishing workflow is done, they'll send the document back to the owner and the owner will initiate the approval process. Once that document is approved, no one can make changes. If you make changes, it up versions. So instead of version one, we're on version 1.1 or 1.2. And then when you approve it again, we're on version two. That's the steady version. As a user and also just working with publishing and submissions, because when you're in regulatory, you have to. Viva is such an excellent tool, and once you learn how to use it, it really becomes invaluable. Another thing, great thing about Viva is that 
You can categorize these documents however you want. A lot of companies will do it by product so that all the submissions and documents related to a specific product are able to be found under that product name. That's how it normally is in every tool across all different life science companies. But I really just like that Viva allows for you to do that. And just as they said in the Viva suite, there's the quality docs tool. Companies before used to use stuff like master control where you would house all your quality documents and that's all master control could do. So that when someone was being trained, you'd go into master control and review all those documents. With Vault, Viva, you're able to do that as well. You're able to look at SOPs for training. You're able to actually do work and author documents. It's just this wonderful cloud-based platform and this video is not sponsored by Viva. I just really like the tool. If you're an organization watching this video and you're interested in Viva RIM, simply go to their website. I'm gonna put the link down in the description as well. Inquire an informational session to see if Viva is right for you. A lot of smaller companies that are anywhere from like five to 10, 15 people might not be ready for a Viva system just because of the expense. But as you grow, definitely inquire and see if Viva is something that makes sense for your organization. And if you're just a person who wanted to know what Viva was, cause you're interested to see if that is a career you want to pursue in terms of working in submissions or regulatory operations, make sure you're subscribed to my channel because I'm going to make another video talking about submission management and publishing jobs, okay? If any of you have questions at all, whether you are an organization or just a regular person, you can always email me at info at Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.